Last year was another great year for the Shazy Boys soccer team, again getting back to the state's Final Four, while the Beekmantown Eagle Boys were able to do them one better and reach that all-important state title game in Class B. But now, a new Section 7 season is underway, and thus has three sectional champs looking to defend last year's titles. The third one mean the Lake Placid Blue Bombers out of Class C. They are visiting George Brendler Field and the home of the Shazy Eagles out of Class D today. Early in the first half, Shazy gets the corner kick, but the Blue Bomber keeper Noah Moore able to punch it away, sending the ball the other way, and we'd be off and running the other way. Eric Montana picking it up, and he is off to the races across half field, shakes off a couple defenders, puts the ball on net, but it's wide right, so we stay 0-0. Shazy would keep working the ball into the corner for a nice serve on the other end. Tristan Connors does just that, finding Tyler Hicks, but right into the waiting hands of Moore, we stay scoreless. With night falling, we go the other way. Montana with a big break. This time keeps it low, just trying to throw off the keeper, tapping it in, but the senior keeper, Austin Gravel, makes the stop. Had a, nice, a couple of nice ones in this game. We went into overtime and then a second OT where Josh McCauley sends it through to Gage Duquette. Good night. Drive home safely after three overtimes without a win this year. Shazy finally gets a bonus soccer victory. We're feeling okay. I mean, we come to every game wanting to win, so that's our expectation, just to win. I think it'd be more fun to have a good just 80 minutes and just finish it at that. That is the goal every time. Hopefully that's the case next time out for the team that has now played four overtime games in six overall games this year. The Class B champs from 2014 were the Beekman Town Eagles. They were hosting the NCCS Cougars today. This one's always a good one. First half, Beekman Town keeper Nicholas Wilson dropping down the ball, but Nick Duffy gets his foot on it. Unfortunately, he's not able to capitalize. No goal. The Cougs would keep trying. Ball lofted in the air. Riley Hollister's header goes off the post, ringing it in, but not into the net, so we stay scoreless. Off a corner, Wilson would get some help. Connor Ashline playing defense right behind him and heading it on out. So we stay 0 0 still. Ashline would have an offensive chance as well, but the towering Alex Houghton in net for Northeastern knocks it away, still nothing going. The game would go to overtime, which is where NCCS gets a break with a handball in the box. Michael McLeod, the penalty kick, game winner, sends the Cougars into celebration mode. Uh, we were going at it for a while. You know, possession was going equal. We both had good chances, a good chance in the first half. Our coaches told us to keep on pushing it and, like, staying together as a union. Then, late in this uh, early in overtime, we got a, a call that went our way. Our team got the win. And this win was helped out by McLeod picking up his second penalty kick goal of the season. 